For all you reality TV show fans and gamers, you can get the brand new just released season of Survive Block Island Meltdown exclusively on Rooster Teeth First. We have a special promo, $45 for the whole year. That's 35% off our normal monthly price. So if you're interested, click the link, use code FIRST45, and I'll see you over there. Welcome to Block Island, a deceptively perilous playscape designed to test 12 of the greatest minds in video game entertainment. Let's go, John! Let's go, Pete, come on! Oh, oh, <laughs> right in the hole! <laughs> or at least those with decent internet connections. Friendships will be tested. Everybody on my team is a threat. I don't trust John. No, John has to go. I just can't believe Patrick would vote for me. Lives will be lost. <laughs> And ultimately, only one person can win. We need to play dirty. I'm taking this competition by storm. You never really know what human nature is going to bring out in people. If I got to make some enemies along the way, so be it. This is not a vacation. This is a competition. Nine days, 12 people, one champion. This is Survive Block Island. Which island are we going to? Hey, look. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. Oh, I made it Here first. There we go. Oh, here we are. That was a great parking job. How do I get out of the boat? <laughs> shift, Charlie. <laughs> Let's shift. Shift. Well, welcome, competitors, to Block Island. I am your host, Trevor Collins, and this will be your home for the next nine days. On this island, you will compete in a series of challenges designed to test your gaming skills, social strategies, and due to the very nature of the recording of this show, your mental endurance. Throughout this competition, you will face challenges and elimination ceremonies at the chopping block. Challenge winners, you will be granted immunity, while weaker links are voted off one by one by popular vote. Hidden on the island are totems that will grant you immunity at a single chopping block. You must keep those in your quick bar at any given time, so be careful who you show what you have in your hand. All right, well, let's talk about teams, shall we? Hell yeah, Yay. baby! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Each team will have six competitors to start. Blue team will be Gus, BK, Jacob, Lindsay, Patrick, and Chris. Red team will be Barbara, Alfredo, Charlotte, John, Joe, and Matt. All right, teams, there's your survival guide and your map to the campsite. And I will see you later on today for the challenge. Yay! Right. Come on, baby. Red's better than blue. Oh, red like blood. Okay, okay, okay. I'm super excited to be on the island. I'll be completely honest with you. Red team is stacked. I know that Fredo is is really clever with the scheming and the mind games. So definitely got to look out for him or, you know, just try to align myself with him. Honestly, my strategy is going to be just to try to regulate my own anxiety playing a game like this. I'm still pretty new to the Minecraft world, but I am someone who will do whatever it takes to go far in this game. My strategy is just be a team player, show everyone you're working hard, get stuff done. I think the biggest competition I have right now from Red Team is gonna be Matt. I mean, as we all know, I've built with Matt a lot in Minecraft. I know what he's capable of. I, I, I can only imagine what he's already plotting on his team right now, like what he's gonna craft. He's gonna have a whole castle done by the end of this series, trust me. The island's a real natural beauty. If I were here in real life, I would hate it. But since it's Minecraft and I don't feel anything, um, I, I love it. It's a very uh, beautiful place. I might, might build a condo here one day. Your cape is going nuts. <laughs> These boats are really fast. Yeah, we're the uh, Blue Angels. Oh, I, yeah, I see something. A, a blue hut. Oh, I see it. I'm going into overdrive. I'm going. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Give it the NOS. I'm gonna drift. Ooh, <laughs> oh, Gus is out of control. You might need these boats later. Yeah, keep them in a good position. We don't wanna lose those. All right, boats stay. Stay. I am loving my team. I think it's fantastic, but I uh, I gotta remind them, this is not a vacation, this is a competition. Let's go, red team, best team. What a beautiful virgin land. Wow, this will be our home for the next X amount of days. 
It's nice to be able to unwind and get out of work. Guys, look behind us. There's a pirate on land. Where? What? Oh my god. <laughs> Where? On this team, I have a few roles to fill. Back in my normal life, in my regular job, I was known as a bit of a jokester. But here, I'm uh, also that. Uh, also that. Mostly just entertainment value. It's going to be uh, cramped in that house. I call Big Spoon. What is this? We have a fire pit. Ooh. I get cold easily. Careful, Gus. Careful. Oh, man. I vote we eat Gus first. <laughs> Chris, you're always trying to eat something. <laughs> Gather around, children. We're going to read the survival guide and learn how to not die. Dad, what's dying? <laughs> I can't. I was going to show you, but I can't. <laughs> Your first priority in the wilderness should be to procure a steady source of water. Okay. Thankfully, you are currently surrounded by it. <laughs> but hang on, there's a twist. You can't just bottle up water and drink it right away, though. We have to cook it, it from the ocean rivers. It's okay. full of toxins and bacteria. That makes sense. Anything about a human flesh of your friends or your... Yeah, it doesn't say, but okay. I think... It's, it's implied. Shelter should be built after gathering sources of food and water. Craft a home to stay safe during storms and to sleep during the night and to spoon. It says it. It says we have to spoon. Should we, like, divide up, put people on water tasks, people on food tasks? Oh, task, definitely. Yeah, please shelter? delegate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll, there's six of us, so what, two each? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do fruit. Uh, BK, you want to do water? I'm down. I'm happy to work on water. Um, I also like to gather anything we need. I can just try and go out and get it. Okay. I'll fish. I love fishing. You apparently you do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can take the girl out of the sea, but you can't take the sea out of the girl. <laughs> Does everybody have a water bottle, by the way? I don't. I'm very thirsty. Okay, Jacob, here you go. Come here. Thank you very much. Jacob, is that is that purified? Look in your inventory. Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> Our well's not working. <laughs> Weird. Jacob's sick. Oh, Thank you for testing it for sabotage? us, Jacob. Oh, no, I promised <gasps> it wasn't. What are you doing oh, to me? No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, good thing we found out early. Oh, God. I think everybody on my team is a threat. I'm ready to take all of them down if I need to. Ugh, I'm still thirsty. I'm gonna try and rectify that. There's gotta be a way we can just take it directly from the source with our bottles. Oh, I'm already ready for, for a little r and R. I saw some coconuts on the beach. I swear, if I don't get a pina colada before the night's up, I will throw myself into the sea. Let's get the basics set down, but really when it comes down to it, if we win challenges, they have to eat each other alive. It's true. Yes. Yeah. Right? So let's just... And most of us here know how to play Minecraft really well. I'm not super good at Minecraft. I haven't played a lot of Minecraft, so I don't know what I'm doing. I <laughs> I feel I feel so lost. This is it. This is this is my playground to lie manipulate. I'll I'll, I'll be completely honest there. And uh, it's not something I normally like to do, but you gave me the playground and I'm going to play in it. Hey, Joe, come with me, come with me, come with okay. me. Okay. Couple things, okay? I really want to work with Barb. I feel like that's a that's a good thing for us. Okay. John, I, I don't I don't I don't trust John. No, we have to get John out. We had to oh, John has to go. Like John's a great person and all, but John's gotta go. That is strong, but I think a Matt has to go mid game. Cause he's too strong. Because because what happens is if Matt gets into the late game, most likely he'll win challenges and have immunity. Mm, just over and over. Right? And okay. then it's like how are you okay. gonna get Matt out at that point? Wait, 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 wait. I found it. I found it. I found Did it. You find it? it? What the f I found it. I found it. I found it. I found, found it. I found it. I found oh, it. Wait, wait, let me let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me just see in here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we, right. so we were right. So we were right. Okay. We'll get the get the out of here. Get okay, out of here. well, question, 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 question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we think do we think that who's gonna get booted out first here if we lose a challenge? Who do you think? Uh, I think we go for John. Go for John? Okay. We gotta we gotta get out of here. Let's go back. We gotta go back now. We gotta yeah, go back we, now. We, we, we can't we can't show people that we're here. Bro, we got it! I told you! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so this is this is gonna be for um this is gonna this is, this is gonna be for, for you, me and Barb, okay? Okay. Guys, have I got Charlotte! Barb! Where have you been? I've been catching octopi, groupers, salmon. Ooh. What are you doing? I'm getting some wood, but I don't have an axe. I can dig it. <laughs> now, I, uh, I'm not super familiar with the format, but are we? can I count on you if things get uh, funky out here on this island? Hello, hello, hello. Fredo. 
Where were you guys? We're out just trying to find more supplies. Oh, gotcha. That doesn't sound suspicious at all in a game like this. <laughs> I am really excited about the team I'm on. We have some very seasoned Minecraft players like Matt and Fredo and John and a whole bunch of people who really know what they're doing, which is great because I would say I'm on the complete opposite of that spectrum. I think from a actual gameplay perspective, I might be the weakest link. Hey Patrick, I hope you're enjoying this limited time release of Survive Block Island Season 1 on YouTube. I'm enjoying it so much, Charlotte. I just wish that I could watch all of it, including the newly released season of Survive Block Island Meltdown. Well, you should check your email because we've all been trying to get a hold of you and tell you that you can watch it on Rooster Teeth first. What? You freaking silly goose. Surely I can't afford it. You actually can. What? Normally you couldn't, but now you can <laughs> because you can get it for $45 for a whole year. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, that's a 35% discount on a full year's regular monthly price. That's exactly what I was thinking. Or $27. Uh, yeah, no, I already did that math. <laughs> yeah, and you... <laughs> You could probably find that change somewhere around your house. What, like in the cushions of the sofa I'm sitting on right now? That you're sitting on right now. Perhaps in my car? Maybe in your car. I don't, I don't know. I find a lot of change in dog poop. Be the change you want to see in the dog poop. Anyway, yeah, you can do all this by clicking this link, roosterteeth.com slash sign up. Do I use the code first 45? You do. That's incredible. I love you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hello, blockheads. Welcome to the first challenge. I'm so excited for you to be here. Charlotte limbering up, I like it. All right, so it is time for your first challenge, and today we've got a special one. We've got Firestarter. This one will be deceptively simple, but will require resource balancing and communication. Each team will be given a fire and a path to navigate. The goal is to use the resources around you to craft a path to get your fire from the starting area to your effigy at the end of the path. First team to completely burn their effigy wins. Losing team, you will be taking a trip to the chopping block where someone will be getting voted out tonight. Oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Any questions? Where'd you get your shorts? Win the challenge and maybe, uh, maybe I'll let you know. But otherwise, okay. if there are no questions, let's go ahead and break and get in our starting areas. Oh, oh, excellent. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh burn. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Destroy! Go, 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 yeah, what should we get? Planks will burn faster than uh, actual wood. I found carpet. Solid. I found carpet and hay. Carpet's good. Oh, hey, I found a chest too. I'm, I'm seeing if there's anything with the sand. Fredo's digging out some of the blocks in the path's way. I'm, I'm moving to the effigy real quick. I'm just trying to navigate for us. Blue team is now on the red team's side. I wish they wouldn't. Lindsay looks a little lost. I'm laying down hay. Red team is pilfering their side of the island. Okay, I'm out of hay. I got carpet, I hope though. I said that I do too. Red team is already burning their hay, it seems like. Oh, wow. They're laying a nice path. Can we get our fire going, or do we have to wait? Set the flame. Burn the nether axe. Burn, burn, burn. Let it burn. The flame. There's a burn. Oh, it's beautiful. You're doing a great job, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Are it's we doing it? It's traveling. There we go. It's, there we go. Is it going? Is it going? It's hit the hay. I repeat, we have hit the hay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, can, we, can we start it? Can we start I got it? Can we start it? How, do, how do I light it? How do I light it? How do I light it? You have to put it. Put put something next to it. Put something next to it. Put a carpet next to it. Blue's fire is tempted to get out of the fire pit, but it doesn't look like it's making it. Oh my God! Burn faster! I have oh, hay. I have hay. Come on, baby. Go go go! Is it not transferring? What's going on here? Ow! 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 Go in the water! Red team has lit Charlotte on fire. Charlotte trying to become part of the path. It's not burning. It's not spreading. Oh, it's not moving to the hay. Go, the go, red go, team's go. fire is just now exiting their pit. Blue team's fire is spreading out of the pit. Come on, fire. Do we need to build it up higher, maybe? Like, with the walls is the wind or something? Do planks burn faster than just wood? Planks do burn. I, don't, I can't say if they burn faster or not. Good question, Charlotte. Something to be thinking about. How fast do these resources burn? Blue team experiencing some nice spread, but ooh, the hay burned out just like that. No! Oh. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about the resources? I'll, I'll start doing it too, but we should look around for more resources like hay. Oh, oh, Chris! Oh, 
Chris, put ah, the fire fuck. out. Chris, you put the fire no, out. No, Chris, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, we need to get the fire going again. What do you want? Blue team is entering a new strategy to see if this will help carry the fire along the path. Chris, stay back. Stay away from the fire, Chris. Ooh, looks like they might have smothered it a little bit. No, we didn't smother. It was off the side. You can't smother a fire. It doesn't have a neck. That's a very good point, Matt Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> look, oh, it goes. What did I take? Ah, fire. Look, fire. The fire. It's beautiful. The fire rises. Does the wind count for anything? Should we just block it off? Ooh, what's happening here? It seems the fire is spreading quickly with what Joe seems to be doing. Why is Trevor using a riddle voice? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, blue team. Interesting moves here. Blue team is making some decent progress. Can they keep the fire going? Can oh, they keep wait, the spread going? Wait, what if we take the fire? No, it went out. Oh, oh it died. blue team. No, 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 what no. What the no. heck? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Move, move, move. Everyone move. Go, go for it. That's smart. That, I was just about to try and spread the fire to this, too. Let's get some hay at the top. What about hay on the bottom? Wood on top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Look at this, look at this. Interesting new tactic by look Blue Team, and it does seem to be working out for them. Okay, it stopped, and just like that. There we go, 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 there we go. Okay, 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 it's spreading, it's spreading. We got all four, we got all four. Oh, here we go, here we go, it's going. Oh, no. The fire has to be stronger. Ooh, we need iron. I am deep, deep underground right now looking for any iron. <laughs> hey, y'all, this might be really dumb, but uh, I think you guys can hold this down. I'm going to check something out. Lindsay has defected, and they are leaving the scene. They are fleeing the challenge now. Oh, God. Desperately trying to go back home. Is that an option? Guys, I tried to steal a command block. It didn't work. I'm sorry. Here, here, here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, this let me, is staying burnt right here. This little block. It's 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 going. Yeah, yeah. Use that. Use that spread. Red team, an actual fountain of flames at this point. It is moving. No. We're gonna get some more wood. Can they keep it up? Do we do we need? Wait, wait, wait. Can we try moving the flames upward like that, like like a tree? You know? Yeah. Oh, the the wool. Oh my God. Blue team is off to a very strong start once again. Only time will tell if they can keep this going. Red team also making some very good progress. Both teams seem to be neck and neck. Just just keep feeding it wood. Keep having it. I got 84 wood. Oh, God. We're about... Nice. We're, oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I oh, saved no. it. I saved swing it. it. Swing it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. It died. Blue team's fire is petering no. out. No. Oh. Jesus. No. Stop. Who the f*** is Peter? All right. It's spreading. It's spreading, yeah, it's spreading into the trees. It's just going to kill it. Yeah. Oh, I'll God. just put more wood down there. Yeah. Yeah. Just surround this thing with wood. I'm going to surround it. Barb and I are going to surround this Grado with wood. trying to unsmother the effigy. The flames have now spread to the jungle on the red side of the island. That's cool. Get the leaves away. Get let's the leaves go, away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We want the leaves away. Barbara, the instinctual Smokey the Bear. They'll they'll burn through them very quickly. I don't want to force oh, fire up oh, here. Oh, God. Patrick looking on in sullen disrespect. No, I'm in my inventories. I'm, <laughs> I'm busy. Us, Patrick fiddling through his pockets as the red team encroaches no. closer and closer to their effigy. I got more hay and carpet. I got more hay and carpet. Blue team is scattered. They are scattered. Oh, Brr. my God. Red team inches closer yet. How's it going, Patrick? How goes your experiment? I got shears. I got shears. All right, start chopping leaves. Get the leaves. Get the leaves. Get the leaves. If anyone can find flint, this will be over real quick. <laughs> Blue team with a very interesting tactic that might be their ace in the hole at this point because red team is getting even closer. The higher we build it and the thicker we build it, the more flames we can work around if they go out. Thicker is better. All right, I'll start shoveling. If we build it thick, they will come. The leaves seem to be working. Leaves are doing great. Leaves. Okay. Blue team is uh. making great moves. What Ooh, a showing. Baby. What a showing. I don't believe it. Well, come on, just guide that flame into the leaves a little bit more. No way. There's no way. There's no way. But can they catch up? Oh, they're fa it's, it's falling back. Come on. Come on. What? It's retreating. What is happening? Why? Always hot out of the gate yeah. and then panic sets in. Every fast start from the blue team is met by failure, but every inch crawled by the red team seems to keep them solid. And yet they step closer to their effigy. Five, six blocks away from their effigy, blue team. That's too close. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Charlotte, really sweet talking that flame to keep it alive. I believe in you. Come on, give it to me. Oh, you're so hot. You're so hot. Red team is all licking Ow. at their effigy. Ow. We're so close. We're Come so on, guys. Close. Oh, 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 I'm so Come close. on, baby love. Ow, I'm going to die. Joe has officially entombed the effigy. Will that pan out or will it fail? Ugh. 
Getting closer, it's getting closer! Ah, get the keep playing with it, keep playing with it, keep playing with it. It's on the effigy. Patrick is working on oh. torches. It's, it burned, it, it burned, it burned, it burned, it burned. It's burning. Their effigy is now being kissed by the sweet flames of Charlotte. So am I! Do it, do wait, it! Wait, wait, but it's, wait, 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 you guys entombed it. You guys, get, get out the wood, get out the wood. Get out the boat. But don't let it die, don't let it die. Don't let it die. Keep the dream alive. Like, you have to pull some around it, like, from around it. It's like choking out the fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The flame seems to be backing off. They just don't understand. They don't understand where to go. Stupid fire. Just see where the flame is going and keep feeding it. Oh, we it's are one block it. away. They are burning. Yeah. They are officially yeah. burning yeah. that effigy. Yeah. 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 They have a couple yeah. chunks yeah. down. Can you ask them to stop? <laughs> the other team would like me to ask you to stop, but I don't think you should listen. Burn, baby, Charlotte, burn. I can, give you, I can give you wood, Charlotte. Burn I can give you wood. It. Come on, guys. Trevor's feeling cold this afternoon. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we have to burn the bottom of it. We have to burn the bottom of it. Did we get the top? Did we get the top? The top is burned. The top is burned. We got to feed through the, the bottom. The top is officially burned. They got to get that right arm in the bottom part. <sighs> Keep, keep getting more wood. Keep getting more wood. Exactly. Oh, God. Now the wind has changed direction. Oh, why did I put dirt there? Matt is working on one of the last pieces of wool. Oh, Oh, no, Matt, no, no. I draw some wood, I draw some wood. Burn to the death. teams are throwing themselves at the fire. <laughs> it, come on. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, light. Who has an axe? Who has I an have axe? Nothing. I do, I axe do. just fell where I was. You have to completely burn it. Do not forget that it's arm. Lit. It's lit. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. arm is now on fire. Yeah, yeah. The legs it's are now lit. on fire. Wait, are we done? Let me get in there. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. It's Hold lit. on a second. That's it. Red team wins. They have completely burned their yeah, effigy. Yeah. Yes! If everybody could gather around the bridge, please come forward. Congratulations, Red Team, for winning the first challenge of Survive Block Island. Good sportsmanship all around, Blue Team. Let's give them a hurrah. Congratulations. Unfortunately, yeah. though, that does mean, Blue Team, Bullsh you will be facing elimination. I'll get you back to your camp so that way you can deliberate, strategize, figure out who you will be sending out tonight at the chopping block, and I will see you there later on. So happy it's not us. I, I, I hated that. Red I hated that so much. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, hope you're enjoying this limited time release of Survive Block Island Season 1 on YouTube. You can watch all the episodes, including the just-released new season, Survive Block Island Meltdown, exclusively on Rooster Teeth First, along with lots more fun stuff for the crazy discount price of only $45 for a whole year. That's over 35%, or $27, off a full year's regular monthly price, less than 13 cents a day, which is probably in the cushions of the sofa you're on now. Just go click the link right here, or go to roosterteeth.com slash signup and use code FIRST45. Thanks, and I love you. I cannot say how happy I am not to have to go to the chopping block after the first challenge. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a, a yeah, big same. relief. The the nature of the game is eventually we will. Not if we play our cards right. Yeah. We could all win as a team, right? Final yeah. six. As much as possible, put the pressure on the pressure on blue team. You know what I mean? Yeah, what our strat should be is to just get the whole blue team out without losing a challenge. Uh, eventually, there might not be enough blue team. There. The, the teams have to combine. They'll merge, oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, right. There's going to be a merge And eventually. if that merge happens, we got to stick red. We stick yeah. red, we can eliminate blue, and then from there, you know, whatever happens, it happens. I need to sit here and soak and sulk for a bit. That did not yeah. go well at all. I thought we had a system down, but it just always seemed to break down. Like we were, we would jump out very quickly, and then always by the time the fire got to Chris, it would die. I know, yeah, I noticed what? that too. Odd correlation. Hmm. It's the first fire that got put out was by those monkey hands. Are you joking? It was always right in front of Chris that things died. Yeah, hmm. kind of weird. Are you joking? Yeah. Careful, no, Chris. This is an infinity pool after all. <laughs> I'm not good at pointing fingers. I don't know who did the least amount. I feel like there's a lot of effort spent building walls, but that didn't really do anything. Well, here's the thing. I was talking to BK, just like sidelining, uh, just talking about beautiful. how we can cook. Very suspicious. What, so you all are scheming as a duo? Scheming. Yeah, feed, our, no so one's feed ourselves so we can actually ingest food. I want it. If y'all are serious about the fire always going out around me, it's because I was there trying to keep it I going. I like how we dropped it, Chris, and you bring it back up. 
saw it back around. Yeah, someone's nervous. <laughs> we, we, I know. Well, I we'd wanted forgotten to about it. We'd I moved really on was. I... to being mad about the sidelining happening over here, and you reminded us that we were mad at you. I really was trying to keep it burning, and I kept, I was, kept wood and... Yeah, but you shouldn't have said anything. Are you trying to get yourself voted off, Chris? I think uh, Chris needs to be careful on that chopping block tonight. I think uh, a lot of people could see him as an easy target. I think uh, he needs to figure out how to redirect everyone away from him towards someone else. And I think if he's not successful at redirecting everyone, I think that he's probably going to be going home. Chopping block tonight is not going to be fun, y'all. Hello, hello, blue team. Welcome on in to the chopping block. I'm so sorry to see you, but you know what? It has to be done. Today's challenge was an extraordinary one. You guys had a really awesome start every single time, but it seemed to fall apart at the very beginning. Gus, at the beginning of this game, you seemed to jump out as a team leader. You took on that role. How do you feel about today's challenge? Well, I mean, we obviously fell short. I think uh, we had a good strategy. Just I think that we didn't try new things fast enough. And I, got, I do have to give a shout out to Patrick. I think uh, he was really trying to do his best out there, trying new things and really get it going. And uh, we just couldn't make it happen fast enough. Lindsay, how about you? You are one of our resident Minecraft experts. You're very familiar with this game. And so you know a lot about the mechanics, uh, but there was a very interesting strategy I noticed mid game where you seem to be fleeing the scene. Was that part of your strategy for this one? It became part of my strategy. Uh, as you know, I, I am familiar with Minecraft, but I also like to utilize a lot of chaos and spontaneity. So I saw um, a command block and it just so happened to be where we started, uh, where you actually stood on top of it, Trevor, funny mm. enough. Um, I tried to swim over to see if I could use that to our benefit. Unfortunately, teammates, I could not. I couldn't even uh, do anything with it. So I just had to turn around, come back, and uh, accept defeat. Didn't feel good. Didn't feel good. Gotcha. Yeah, well, you know what? That's what happens when you play with the set a little bit. Sometimes there are shiny objects out there willing and ready to steal your attention. But you know what? Tonight is a bit of a somber night. You know, someone's going to have to go home. So, uh, Chris, how are you feeling given these circumstances? Are you feeling afraid? Are you feeling secure with your team? Well, I feel uh, not great uh, because I feel like during the opening discussion, there was a lot of uh, shoving off the waterfalls happening. But oh, no one, no one shoved you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's dive into that. You're saying you're not feeling very comfortable, like you're being pushed off the waterfalls. What else is happening? What are you hearing around camp? Well, I'm just, I, I would say this. I'm, I'm uh, not particularly uh, great at pointing fingers. I could be an easy target to vote on, but you have to think about this long game. And if you want to vote on the easy target right now, then think about who you're going to have left. That's a very good point. That's the thing is the, the people that you vote out of your team might make you stronger but depending on the person that you pick, you might make your team weaker. And I know you said you don't like to point fingers, but I can't help but notice that you were staring down Jacob that entire time. Jacob, how are you feeling having met Chris's eyes so strongly while he answered that? This is awfully subliminal there, Chris. You say you don't point fingers. I'd like to point out that you don't have any fingers, so you were pointing <laughs> your, your vision Ooh. at me. I would snap my fingers, but you know what? I don't have any either. <laughs> it's kind of a problem that we're having. Kind of like when Chris put out the first fire that we set. Your butt is very distracting, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and if that's why you want to vote on me, I'll accept it. Even if there's no one to point fingers at, someone is about to go home. If there's nothing else left, I think it might be time to vote. BK, you will be the first up for tonight's vote. Fire kept going out by only one person. It's gonna be you tonight. I feel like Patrick did so well. There's no way people are gonna vote for him. I'm worried that I might be going home. I think it was just there wasn't anything to point at. You gotta play the long game. Sorry, buddy. I love the guy, but I got to do what I think is best for the team. Sorry, 
Nothing personal. I think you're a great player. Well, hello, competitors. Now, before we get to the votes, if anyone has a Totem of Undying and would like to protect themselves, now is the time to do it. It's time to reveal the vote. Oh my god. Vote number one is Chris Damaris. Oh my Ooh. god! Chris. Oh. That's my head! It's your head. Vote number two, Patrick. <gasps> Patrick! What? Patrick. Oh wow. my god! Who what? the f That's one vote, Chris, and one vote, Patrick. The next vote, Lindsay. What? What? Lindsay. what? Lindsay. The fourth vote, Lindsay. <gasps> oh, oh, and that's yeah. two! What? That's no. two votes, Lindsay. One vote, Patrick. Uh, uh, one vote, Chris. Two more votes to go. Oh my god! This is crazy. This is insane. This is shocking. Uh, I might be going home. Fifth vote is Patrick. Patrick! Oh my god. Oh my god. We have a two way tie now for Lindsay and Patrick, with Chris down at the end with one vote, with one vote remaining. Oh my, oh my god. god, my heart is pounding. This is not how I thought this was gonna go. Oh my god. The sixth and final vote. Hold me, buddy. Yeah, I got you. Chris! Chris, get in here. What the f I uh, thought it was going to be six votes for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know who Gus voted for. I have to be completely honest with you, competitors. What this is a moment in reality TV history that doesn't happen very often. We have ourselves a three-way tie. Now, let me walk you through what is about to happen. Oh my God. We are going to recast votes. However, neither Chris, Patrick, nor Lindsay can vote in this round. Oh God. And you can only vote on Chris, Patrick, or Lindsay. Oh my God. Now, if for whatever reason you cannot come to an agreement with these next votes and we have another tie, we will draw stones. Ooh. But what if we are not very good at art? <laughs> <laughs> that will mean that Chris, Patrick, and Lindsay will be safe, and BK, Gus, and Jacob will actually have to draw stones to see who will be randomly selected to what? be voted off the what? island. So the stakes are very oh, high. Oh, we had no votes. Did any of you all go to art school? Oh. No. No. <laughs> so you will have this last vote to try to change it up. The time for deliberation is up because we are about to go back to the voting room. This is unprecedented. This is wild. This is good reality TV, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, BK, Jacob, this is your time to decide and your lives are also on the line. Let's start the vote again. BK, you're up. Just look at this <laughs> one more time, everyone. Mm -hmm. I, you gotta tell me. I'm back. Welcome back, Gus. What could be the last vote for some of you? It is time to tally the second round of votes. First vote, Chris. Go, oh, Chris. Uh, oh my God. Just like last time. Second vote is Patrick. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. <laughs> no. Jacob. Oh my God. What do you blame me for this? Oh my God. One more vote remains. And the third vote is Lindsay. I knew it. 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 What the f***, dude? What the f***? How does this happen? What no. this means How? is that Chris, Patrick, and Lindsay are all safe what? from the, the vote tonight. What? BK, Gus, and Jacob are now all on the chopping no. block and will have to draw what stones to figure ah. out who is going home tonight. Oh my are you God. serious? We're gonna go ahead and get out three boxes, each with a stone. We're gonna have you all agree upon which boxes you guys want, and we are then gonna open those chests. If you have a gray stone, you will be safe. However, if you are the one out of the three that has the white stone, you will be going home tonight. Oh my God. It's like I always say, white ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have our three chests. We have determined that BK will be picking their chest first. 
Which color would you like to pick? I'm gonna go with blue. All right, come stand behind your box. Do not open it just yet. Gus, you are picking second. Oh man, I'll take yellow. All right, stand behind your box. And Jacob, that means you have the luscious green. <sighs> come on down and stand with your box. I can't handle this. I hate this. I'm I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. Oh Ugh. God, I can't take it. This is a plan that we had in place and we genuinely did not think that this would come to it. And the fact that you did it in episode one is astounding. So competitors, go ahead and open your box. Reveal to us in your hand, the stone that you have in there. Take your stone out, hold it in your hand, jump on your box so we can all see. Oh, oh my goodness, no. Jacob. Oh my God. Oh Jacob, my goodness. No. Jacob, one of the Minecraft heavyweights of the blue team has been randomly selected. Oh. Let this be a lesson to the remaining members of the blue team. Oh. It is important to develop alliances and friendships and to try to avoid ties so we don't have these tiebreakers. BK, Gus, please go ahead and take your seats again. Jacob, if you wouldn't mind coming with me and stepping up onto the red square. I can't watch. I did my darndest, team. Oh my I did this for you guys. No. This is what I have wrought. This is the end. Jacob, your team has not necessarily spoken, but the odds and, well, indirectly, your team has spoken. Tonight, we have to say goodbye. That's horrifying. Oh my God. He's, uh, he's Ash. You now know the stakes of this island. You now know why we call it Survive Block Island. And with that, I will release you back to your campsites to lick your wounds and think about how you're going to tackle the challenge in the day to come. Have a good night. Gonna need a lot of licking. Oh, goodbye, Jacob. I think this is beautiful treacherous island is going to separate the wheat from the chaff and create some real winners. And I'm sad that I can't be among them. See a blue team. The run was good. I know one of you will take it to the top. But every time you swim in the infinity pool I built, think of me when you smell the chlorinated water as you look out into the endless sea. Coming up on this season of Survive Block Island. We have to win the next challenge, y'all. Win challenges? We don't have to worry about voting each other out. What happens when the blue team goes away? Come on, oh. Matt! Strike ah. hard, no mercy. We bring you the island's hottest attraction. Oh. Oh my God. At this point, none of us are safe. I'm unable to play the mind game of this. Would you like to form an alliance? Absolutely. Alliances were strong at the beginning. That ship has sailed. Everybody, please take off your helmets and chuck them into what? the fire. We're going to shake what? things up what? a little bit. Wow. No. everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this limited time release of Survive Block Island. Right now, you can get Survive Block Island Meltdown exclusively on Rooster Teeth First. And if you're signing up for the first time, you can save 35% using code FIRST45 and get a whole year for $45.